Okay, it is time for a very embarrassing topic this morning. Let's see if you can guess what it is after these clues. You ready? Some of us have it sometimes. Some of us have it all the time, but we may not know it. Some of us wake up with it. Any ideas? Ding, 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 ding. All right, well, today we're talking about bad breath. And here to help us know if we have it and how to get rid of it is the man known all over America as the bad breath guru, Dr. Harold Katz. Good morning. Hi. I feel like I should be going, good morning. <laughs> good morning, doctor. We will solve that problem. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth made you get into this in terms of being the bad breath expert? Well, in the early 1990s, my own teenage daughter came to me crying with a problem. I'm a dentist, uh -huh. uh, and she said, Daddy, why do I have bad breath? Well, it turns out her mouth became dry from playing basketball and being and sort of exercising, and that led to her condition of bad breath. So I decided to do a little research, and here I am 15 years later on the show talking to you about helping millions of people. You know, when I get near someone like that, I'm thinking, well, they didn't really brush their teeth, or maybe they didn't floss good enough. Is that true? Uh, no, the teeth have very little to do with bad breath. Most of the production of those sulfur compounds you smell coming from the back of the tongue, throat, and tonsils, much farther back. Brushing your teeth is important, though. You need to keep them inside your head, not in the, <laughs> not in the nightstand. <laughs> So what actually <laughs> triggers it? What causes it? Well, th these bacteria are very sensitive to changes in the environment. A uh, dry mouth is probably the number one driver of bad breath. The bacteria love a dry mouth. Okay. Uh, but also, uh, mucus can uh, cause bad breath. Mucus <sighs> has proteins in it, which the bacteria love. Even foods which are high in protein, dairy foods, for example, can lead to bad breath. So there's many factors that get into the bad breath problem. And you know, a lot of people wonder if they have bad breath. I if one day I'm wondering, you know, and this is so embarrassing, I kind of just kind of go, <sighs> I'm good. Well, that's a great way to smell your hand. Oh. <laughs> Not gonna help you much. Really? The correct way to do it at home, uh, if you don't have a halometer, is to lick the back of your hand like this. Let that dry for a few seconds. You're Make kidding. sure you lick your own hand. <laughs> You're kidding. No, no. That works because those sulfur compounds, they contain things like hydrogen sulfide, the rotten egg smell, cadaverine, putrescine. Those chemicals mix with your saliva. They will stick to your hand after the liquid evaporates. We actually went out, right. you and I, with yes. your halometer instrument. Right. It was so much fun. We actually stopped people on the streets and they were good sports, They're, weren't they? I'm surprised. I was shocked. But Let's they, show they, our viewers. Let's okay. take a look. Oh, sure. What this machine does, it measures the amount of sulfur in your breath. When someone has bad breath, they have a very high level of sulfur. So the machine will register over 100. It goes from zero up to 2,000. Oh, so man. let's see wait, how you measure. All you do is stick your tongue out and hold your breath, just like that, okay? 42, 86, 103, 70, 16, 20. Okay. I think he's doing marvelous, That's, doctor. Still below 100? Still below 100, doctor. 34, 27. Below 100? 60. You're below 100. You have good breath. Amen. <laughs> 90, 99. A little bit over 100. Not Did you have some coffee before? Yeah, I'm drinking it now. Okay, well, coffee makes your breath bad because it has a lot of acids in it. Yeah, it's, ca yeah, it's caffeine. Yeah, 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 so cold. you gotta be careful. When you have coffee, if you wanna get rid of the coffee breath, sip a little water afterwards. That will dilute the effect of the coffee. Okay. All right, we wanna give you a test because I see you're a smoker. Okay, you just hit 300 now. Now what happens, smoking does, it makes your mouth very dry, which allows bacteria to produce more sulfur compounds. Can you stop the horse? Open up wide. Oh, I, oh my God, it's almost a thousand. Oh my gosh, this horse has bad breath. Okay, now I'm gonna put myself on the spot. Yes. I don't have bad breath, however, I love raw onions. When I eat one, how bad does it get? Well, you're gonna find out. This machine is gonna measure the amount of sulfur from that little bit of onion. So if you have a salad at lunchtime, you can imagine what that onion is gonna do. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. Here we go. Ready? Okay, mm -hmm. stick your tongue out. Hold your breath. Okay, normal breath is 100. 150, what, 230, 280, 380. Uh -uh. You're breaking my machine. <laughs> 736. Because of an onion? One little piece of onion. You can imagine what it does to your breath. Now, let's get rid of it. How's that? Please. Okay. Uh, this is the TheraBreath mouthwash. Just rinse with that. It's all natural. It has the oxygen compounds in there. So give it a little sh spritz around your mouth. And we'll see what we have. Okay, ready? Okay, Whoop. stick your tongue out. Okay, then we're back to 80. We're good. 80. Kissable. Oh, that's, that was good. <laughs> okay, 
for the record, please make it clear that it was truly the onion that really took me to no, 700. You, you smell great. <laughs> it's the onion. Blame it on the onion. I love you. I love you. Sure. I'll pay you later. Okay. Now, what are some solutions in terms of, you know, the bad breath issue? Well, the number one tip we tell everyone, drink more water. You need Makes to replenish sense. saliva. Drink about six or eight glasses of water a day. Avoid sugar. Many of the breath mints and gum out there have sugar in it, which, can, which actually feeds the bacteria. Mm. Uh, a lot of mouthwash out there actually has a lot of alcohol in there, so be careful. Careful. Alcohol makes the mouth very dry. Uh, and then a lot of toothpaste has detergent in it, which can also make your mouth dry, something called sodium lauryl sulfate. Oh my God. So what we did, in my daughter's case, we actually developed a formula, it's called TheraBreath. Okay. It's a mouthwash and toothpaste and other gum and things, which have a patented oxygenating compound in it, which literally puts a straight jacket around the bacteria so they cannot produce the odors. And you can get this at Walmart and Target and Publix and all the drug chains. And doctor, truly, you, he actually gave me this after I ate the onion, because it was, you know, it's very hard to have onion breath. And it worked. <laughs> I, it really felt very refreshing. Yeah, like that, it got rid of it. And it within instantly. seconds, yes. I was able to drive off and I was okay with, you know, yeah. my breath. Yeah, I know, you did a great job. And uh, what's surprising, people don't realize you can get rid of the problem pretty quickly. Doctor, thank you so much. This was a blast. It was really a pleasure, and you smell great. Oh, thank you, Doctor. I do try. <laughs> and if you want more information on Dr. Katz and his products, just go to therabreath.com. You can also order, thank you, sir, oh, dun, 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 a free copy of the Bad Breath Bible. It does exist, the Bad Breath Bible. We'll be right back.